Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano, and today I'm going to show you our random number function. So here I have a very basic endpoint. All this is doing is this is adding a record to our deals table. We have a table. It just has a name, a deal amount, and a promo code. And what we want to do is we want to take an input of a name and an amount, and we want to generate a promo code to go with that deal. So taking a look at our endpoint, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my inputs here, and I want to hide this input from the API because we're not specifying a promo code when we're adding this record. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. And now we need to actually build our random number generator. So I'm going to click my plus sign here. I'm going to go to security and I'm going to click random number right there. And you can specify what you want the range for your random number to be. Uh, for this example, I'm going to say 999. And my max is uh, 9999. Uh, I'm going to store this as uh, value 1. And then I'm actually just going to uh, duplicate this a couple of times. And I'm going to change this one to be stored as value 2. And this one to be stored as value 3. So now I just need to edit my add record function. And the only thing I really need to do is update this promo code value. You can see that it's already getting the name and the amount from our input here, uh, but I need to generate this promo code here. So I have my three random numbers already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clear this out entirely and I'm going to type percent %s dash percent %s dash percent %s. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna let me specify variables to fill in those percent %s values with. So all I have to do is add a filter, and that's going to be s prints f. And my arguments are going to be value one, value two, and value three. So if we update that and we save, so now if we did everything right. We should run this. I'm going to call this test deal, and in the amount I'm going to put uh, fifty percent off. And if we run this. You can see we have our promo code generated right there. And if we run this again, you can see we have an entirely different number. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this function. Uh, this was just a quick example, but I hope this helps.